Welcome back to Her Crowning Glory. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Today we are talking about um, something. What are we talking about again today? I've forgotten. Oh yeah, we are talking about relationships. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about the one and we're talking about attention. But let me just rewind it back and let me start. I'm not wearing this coat for fashion, guys. I'm wearing this coat in my house because it's cold. And my mother will not allow me to on the heating unless I pay. I'm not paying. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I just recently graduated from uni. As I have now graduated, obviously I get the whole congratulations from aunties and uncles and everything. And I go to a church, which is, well, I used to go to a church which was predominantly black people, like African people. And the thing is, as soon as you finish university, the first thing they're looking for next is <laughs> marriage. Apart from aunties and uncles and stuff asking you where your husband is, there's also aunties who are trying to make you wife their son. Like, with that pressure of people asking you where's your husband or people, you know, trying to hit you up with somebody else, or even with your friends who are close to your close friends or people around you getting married some people are already having kids and stuff like that it's easy to just succumb to the first person who hollers at you and like the first person that's like you know fine thing my size what you doing what you're saying hey what you doing what you're saying what you doing what you're saying hey what you doing what you're saying what you doing what you say sometimes it is kind of hard to just be like nah not interested so the question i have for you guys who are talking to someone or who are in a relationship or anything is or who are thinking of being in a relationship do you really want to be in a relationship or do you just want the attention let's pause let's pause think about it so i mean attention in two ways attention in the fact that um, people are gonna be like oh they're so cute together squad girl or the attention between you and your partner as in you need you just want someone to validate you if that makes sense somebody to constantly be there to talk to somebody to constantly gas you up or you know along those lines something somebody that could that just easily gives you attention no. I'm talking about this in a Christian type of sense in the same way because obviously I'm a Christian so anything I say or do on this channel will be very Christian based like the foundation is gonna be very moral okay so the whole point of being in a relationship is the fact that okay it's intended to lead to marriage so anybody that's in a relationship for any other reason you're doing it wrong honey because you're just literally forming bonds and connections that you are probably gonna have issue with in the future I would know I'm a psychologist okay I'm not a psychologist but you know I studied psychology in uni so <laughs> technically speaking I'm a psychologist yeah. but even before you get into the relationship is is this ordained by God is this the person that God has said I should get married to that I should be with um, somebody gave me great advice um, a few weeks ago which is basically like before you actually start talking to someone before you start you know um getting close to a particular individual of the opposite sex it's one of them where you should be like already putting them in prayer and asking god god do you know where this is leading to please show me where this is leading to please let it be your will and if it's not your will like tell me show me signs talk to me because it's one of them where um when emotions are involved and we start praying about if this person is the right person for us sometimes our emotions override the answer of god or sometimes our emotions don't let us hear the answer of god because we don't want to hear the answer just in case it's a no people tend to forget about the importance of the holy spirit until when they're asking god for who the one is now you cannot be expecting to hear god's voice if you don't know what god's voice sounds like to you because god ministers to people in different ways way before you start asking god who the one is you should already be forming a relationship with god and be asking him for little stuff such as like you know god what do i eat today god which route should i take home god what color of clothes should i wear today like just the littlest of things god 
what's gonna be in my exam paper? Like, bruh, when God came through, God came through for me third year, God came through, God came through, God, G, G, O, G, O, G, O, G, save, 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 save my G. But like, you know, if you don't know what God's voice sounds like, how are you gonna know what his answer is to that particular situation? Things you can do while you're waiting um, for the right person or why you're praying on God for the right person is basically maximizing your singlehood which is a phrase that I got from a radical youth convention that I went to three or two weeks ago shout out to radical youth why why and basically it's just self-explanatory really maximize your singlehood because once you get with a person or once you get into a relationship things become a little bit more complicated and you think you don't have time now trust me you probably won't have time then at all travel like travel if you want to travel do business ventures make a website make a youtube and actually post on your youtube um just do whatever you want to do and another thing while you're waiting is be the person you want your other half to be there's too much there's too many double standards going on these days like you see my guy that will be opening his dirty mouth be saying yeah i want a girl with a flat tummy with a big booty with everything oh that's about to rhyme <laughs> but um you know you see somebody like that and it's just like but baby boy you've never stepped into the gym yourself in one day you're 21 but why is your stomach like a 50 year old man that's just eating pounded jam every day it where they do that at? like it doesn't make oh you know girls are just like i want my guy to be having money to have a car da -da -da. but baby girl have you passed your driving test uh, 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 have you even done your theory test uh, do you even have a job if you want your other half to be loyal, you work on yourself being loyal. If you want your other half to be um, high spiritually in God, then you have to work on yourself and also be high spiritually in God. So when you guys come together, when you guys come together, <sighs> me, you both be, oh. And last but not least, while you're waiting for the person, the right person, chase God and not the man down. I can't emphasize this enough. Chase God and not the man them. Literally work on your relationship with God. That is the most important relationship that you are ever going to have that you will have. People are chasing the money, people are chasing the man them, people are chasing the education, which I'm not saying you shouldn't, I'm not saying that you shouldn't chase them, but you should never put any of them before God. God is always fair. And this is where I'm going to insert a Bible verse which states, I'm paraphrasing here, but it says, seek first the kingdom of God and all things shall be added unto you. I am paraphrasing, but, but if you seek the kingdom of God first, the person that knows your beginning and your end, that knows the middle, that knows everything that's gonna happen in your life, then how the heck are you even gonna miss it? How, where, if you have a relationship with him and you're talking to him every day and you're seeking his guidance and everything, where you gonna go wrong? Where you gonna go wrong? You can't go wrong, that's the answer. You can't go wrong. What I'm trying to say is basically the only source you need to be chasing is the divine source, which is the living water. So to conclude guys, don't try and find anyone just because you want to do squad goals or relationship goals and you just want to be matching Timberlands together and take picture for Instagram to get your five likes. Let's not, don't do it because you know, you just want someone there, you want the attention. Work on yourself, wait on God, don't rush. Like, it's better to have a, as people always say, it's better to have a failed relationship than to have a failed marriage. But at the same time, it's better to just wait <laughs> and not have a failed relationship at all. Like, just wait and have a beautiful relationship and have a beautiful marriage as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you guys soon don't forget to stay connected with me and follow me on Instagram which is her crown and glory with 1g and also follow me on snapchat which is Mish Roda Olu. don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below if you enjoyed this video and if you agree or disagree with me I don't mind but I'll see you guys later and bye mm.